Hello there. I hope you guys are doing well. Today we will be studying the chapter Reflection of Light on Curved Surfaces. Let's begin with knowing the definition of reflection. Reflection means the bouncing back of light rays when it hits a surface without being observed by the surface. We can clearly see reflection in our daily life with the help of mirrors. Sometimes reflection can also be seen on still water or a shiny surface. Now, let us know what are mirrors. Mirrors are smooth surfaces which cause clear reflection of light. Mirrors are of two types: plane mirrors and spherical mirrors. First, let us know about plane mirrors. Plane mirrors have a smooth reflecting surface. The magnification of plane mirror is plus 1, about which we will be knowing further in this video. Plane mirrors give an equal sized erect and laterally inverted image. Before going to spherical mirrors, we need to understand first few terms which are poles. It is the center of the mirror and it is denoted by P. focus it is the point of convergence or divergence of the light rays it is denoted by f center of curvature it is the geometrical center of the sphere of which the mirror is a part of or it is the point of concurrence of all the normals in the sphere of which the mirror is a part of it is denoted by c focal length it is the distance between the pole and the focus or the focus and the center of curvature it is denoted by small f now let us know what is magnification it is the ratio of the image to the object it can be calculated as height of the image by height of the object which is denoted as hi by ho or minus v by u minus v is the distance of the image and u is the distance of the object now we also need to learn about the sign conventions there are mainly three sign conventions and they are the following all the measurements on the principal axis must be taken from the pole the measurements above the principal axis must be positive and the me measurements below the principal axis must be negative If the image distance that is v is positive then the object distance that is u shall be negative and vice versa. Now we can know what are spherical mirrors. Spherical mirrors are mainly categorized into two groups: concave mirror and convex mirror. Let us first understand convex mirrors. Convex mirrors are curved inwards. We can see them in our daily life at rear view mirrors in vehicles. security mirrors etc these always give a diminished erect and virtual image beyond the mirror and its magnification is always between 1 and 0 let us see how can we draw a ray diagram for a convex mirror first we draw the diagram then we mark the opaque side and the other notations like center of curvature pole focus focal length etc now from the tip of the object a line passes parallel to the principal axis and diverges like so at the same time converges at the focus beyond the mirror and another line passes through the center of curvature on the other side the point of the point where both the lines meet is where the image is formed we can clearly see the characteristics of the image now let us understand about the concave mirror concave mirrors as the same name suggests they are curved inwards we can see these at magnifying mirrors phones mirrors at the dentist clinic etc its images characteristics vary depending upon where the object is and their magnification also change changes in the same manner let us see how can we plot various ray diagrams 
for concave mirrors depending upon the position of the object along with the characteristics of the image. In a concave mirror, when the object is placed between the mirror and F, the image is formed beyond the mirror. The image is enlarged, erect and virtual. When the object is placed at the focal point, the position of the image is at infinity. And because the image is at infinity, we don't have any more information about it. When the object is placed between F and C, the position of the image is beyond C. It is enlarged, inverted and real. When the object is placed on the center of curvature, we get the image on the same place. The image is same size and inverted and real. When the object is placed beyond C, the image is formed between F and C. The image is diminished, inverted and real. When the object is at infinity, we get the image at focal point or at focus. The image is point sized and real. Now let us know what is the mirror formula. The mirror formula is 1 by f equals to 1 by v minus 1 by u where f is the focal length, v is the image distance and u is the object distance. Let us understand this with few examples which we will be seeing in another video. Few important points from this chapter are Difference between concave and convex mirror Difference between real image and virtual image the characteristics of the image formed due to concave mirror, magnification, mirror formula, uses of mirrors, etc. I hope you liked the video and stay tuned for more such content.